Hello everyone and welcome to our yet another very very exciting discussion on network analysis. This is our second session following uh, a full discussion on uh, the meaning of network analysis, the concepts of um, uh, network analysis like project planning, activity, dummy activities, event and also uh, a discussion on the importance of network analysis and the rules of drawing uh, networks. So in this activity, uh, which I've picked from November 2018, question six, part B, we are given KA Construction Limited, which is in the process of, uh, of designing an improved drainage system in one of the suburbs of Kampala. The activities and duration times required are listed in the pre uh, precedence table below. So they give us activities from A to G and uh, the preceding activity and the duration times. So we were required to draw an activity network to list the possible path through the network and their duration and to identify the critical path and justify our answer. So in the previous session, I have explained what uh, uh, preceding activities are. And of course, I, of course, I took you through the rules of drawing networks. However, uh, we shall still go through the, uh, the rules of drawing networks as we try to uh, draw this activity network. So uh, it is better I, uh, as I draw the network, I indicate which rule uh, works for that particular uh, drawing or approach I have taken. So let us go through the rules again. And I hope you have your notes right now. We have read through the question and we won't have problems uh, along the way. Okay. Now, rule number one is that a complete network should have only one point of entry, the start event, and only one point of exit, a finish event. Only one point of entry, start event, and only one point of exit, finish event. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, an event is represented by a circle, okay? So I'm going to have one first circle here, okay? And that's going to be the start event, okay? That is now where I'm going to create the entry. People are going to be entering from here, okay? One point of entry, start event, and one point of exit. End event. Here I have my end event. And that's where people are going to be moving out. They come up from here. They come in from there. They go. They go. They get out from there. So we won't have several doors. This is not the case where you can... A forge around and maybe pass through the window and not no in a network no windows only one door entry one door exit front door back door the way you want so i'm done i'm done with rule number one so i now go to my network and ask myself what is the starting activity what is the starting activity? Now, as I mentioned, definitely we shall begin with activity A. Uh, if these are our activities, this one's here on the screen. We shall begin with activity A, this one here. Why? Because it doesn't have a preceding activity. So we shall start with that one. So I go back my network here and I bring in activity A right there okay activity A comes in right there and now remember we say that an event marks the beginning and the end so if we complete this activity A I put another what? activity A to indicate that at that point we are done with activity A. Okay? I hope you are good there. Next, 
we now ask ourselves what do we now start on from the table they have told us that when we finish a we begin on b and c so one of the arrows coming out of the head event of a is going to go to b and then another one emerging out of here is going to go to c like that so i'm indicating that after finished a i start on b and c now when i complete b and c definitely there is supposed to be another point in time okay there's supposed to be another point in time on b and on c so they have indicated that b and c are done now i go back to my table and ask myself when we finish b and c okay when we finish c we begin on d when we finish b we begin on f i mean on e a when we finish b we begin on e so i expect those two new activities to emerge d from c have you seen that d coming out of c because that is what the information is telling me so and then e okay e from what this is e coming out of b e from b like that e from b like that now i put a circle on d here and also a circle on e because I must indicate that I've completed D and I've also completed uh, I've also completed E. Now, after E and D, what do I start on? Now, when you see in our question here in the table you have right there, when we are done with the with the E, eh? Okay. When we are done with D, we start on F. When we are done with D, we start on what? We start on F. So that one must come on next. When we are done with this D here, we start on what? We start on F. So F has to come out of this place. That's the F right there. That is the F right there. Now, it looks like E and the F are moving to the same point in time. It looks like E and F are moving to the same point in time. Why? Because of this here in the table. You see this one here? Whenever the examiner represents two activities like that, E F comma E comma F B comma C, those ones it means that they must move to the same head what? They come from different tail events but move to the same head e? event okay so that is why i was strategic to draw my e and f they are moving to the same circle because out of that circle another activity is going to come out that's the activity number what that is activity number g this one is going to come out of that the g so now i bring in my same point in time they are coming from different circles but going to the same this one is allowed but what we don't accept is where you have two activities coming from the same like that and going to the same this one is not allowed we don't accept it so you remember i talked about a dummy you will use a dummy where you find that ah my activities seem to be coming from the same Eh? they seem to be coming from the same and going to the same so what you do you let one activity go straight create a dummy here a dummy is dotted create a dummy here like this then another activity comes there that is the creation of a dummy so this is the dummy i'm going to call it x then this one i'm going to call this one e and this one is f 
So if you see that activities E and F, we are going to come from the same eh? activity E is here. And another activity F is here. They are coming from the same, going to the same. You rather create a dummy like this so that they don't come from the same, going to the same. So that is where we create a dummy. But of course, no worries. I'm going to show you. I'll show you how we create a dummy using a live example. So now, after E and F are done, we start on what? After E and F are done, we start on G. Okay. So we bring our G right here. Bring our G. And our G is coming on there. So that is the very nice network diagram for our project. And I hope you are completing yours. I'm going to give you some three minutes to complete. And then we proceed. I believe you're all done. Now let us put our duration times. Let us put our duration times. Now A takes us six days, as you can see in the table. A takes us six days. This one. B takes us eight. C takes us seven. D takes us 12. E takes us three. F takes us 5, G takes us 7. So I'm going to pick up these duration times and take them to my network. Okay? As I've mentioned, A takes us 6 days. B is going to take us 8 days. C will take us uh, 7 days. D will take us 12 days. E is going to take us 3 days. F is going to take us five days. Then finally, G will take us seven days. So I have inserted the duration times. Now, what was the question? The examiner is saying, get me the network which we have done. We are done with this one here. It says, get me the network diagram. We have done it. Good. List all the possible path through the network and their duration. All right. In the next video, which is our session number three, we are going to list all the possible path through the network. And then we shall identify the critical path to which we shall justify our answer. So I want you to go to the next session, which is the next lecture video that handles that part. Thank you.